the integrity bill has um, made its way through the... Uh, it's still in the lower house, actually, of the parliament, but it, ha- it, ha- it has some pretty nasties within it. And one of them is um, the issues around New Start and what's called the liquid assets wait time. So, Selena, what, what that re- really means is that the government at the moment um, uh, has a wait time of 13 weeks. Uh, for people who have been made redundant to go on to New Start, um, and they want to change that to 26 weeks and change uh, the amount of money that you can have in savings and having to run that down before you actually get New Start. Right. So if someone, say, they've been laid off or made redundant, as you say, um, there is this wait period. If they That's have right. a certain amount of money, say, in savings, that they must yes. use up before they can start yes. accessing these payments. Yeah, and, and it's not a lot of money. So just say, for example, and I know that you've got a lot of forestry uh, workers and so forth down your way. If uh, part of that in- industry closed and uh, you've got a, a middle-aged man... Um, Who's you know worked in the same job for thirty years? Um, if he's a, if he's you know uh, if he's married, the couple can have um, thirty six thousand dollars, and for singles, it's eighteen thousand dollars. Now that's not a lot of money to live on uh, for six months, but the government expects you to live on that and run it down before you can actually get uh, a new start payment, which is really difficult for uh, people that have been made redundant in terms of finding another job in terms of the psychological impact of suddenly finding yourself on a new start payment. Well, some people might think, well, $18,000 or 36 as you say, for a couple, I, geez, I wish I had that much sitting in savings in, in the bank. If if someone is, um, you know, only out of work for a short amount of time, um, you know, do they really necessarily need to be able to access, um, you know, social security payments? Well, the uh, point is that the social security, the new start payment, um, is there for people that have found themselves out of work um, or um, are obviously looking for a job. And I guess the really, really big issue, Selena, is that $18,000 or $36,000 in a redundancy payment is the only buffer that many of many people have. If, if the car blows up or you have to retrain or uh, or if there is an illness, then you absolutely have nothing to fall back on. Um, These are people that have worked for 30 or 40 years, have paid their taxes, um, have done everything right, and we feel like they're being punished if the government uh, gets these measures through the house. Does it take into account anything like you know debt debts that people might have to pay off? Um, you know they they may have these savings, but they may also you know have repayments and and things that they do have to pay back that will eat into those payments pretty quickly. No, it doesn't take any of that into account. This is there is no science behind this. It is simply a cash grab of changing the waiting time from thirteen weeks to twenty six weeks. It's it's about saving money basically. How many people is this likely to affect? I know that you've looked at some local stats of how many people in this region are, you know, on those new start payments. Is it expected to be a lot of people who will find themselves out of well, work but with that amount of money yeah. in savings? It's a, it, potentially it is. I mean, for South East South Australia, there are 6,500 people on New South, for example. In Mount, Mount Gambia, there's 1,200 people. Um, in South Western Victoria, 5,200 um, Warnable 1,200 and Horsham 600. So potentially um, it, 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 it has enormous effects um, across your region. And uh, like I say, you know, Social Security is not something that people abuse. It's, it's something that uh, is there for an absolute purpose and the government cannot explain and will not explain why they want to increase the wait times as they are. This is something obviously Labor won't won't be supporting. I uh, understand the Greens are not supporting it as well. Do you think it is likely to to get through? It's very difficult to tell. Um, the Greens are not, as you said, and Labor is certainly not going to support it. It really does come down to the cost bench um, and uh, the number of people on the cross bench that will or will not support it. The government needs four votes from the cross bench. Uh, to be successful in getting legislation through. 
um, and I'm not quite sure where the negotiations are up to in terms of a crossbench. This is a very bad piece of legislation. It's got a whole range of measures in it uh, that are really about punishing people who uh, find themselves for some reason or other uh, requiring a social security payment, including age pensioners.